Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here doing another troubleshooting video for Microsoft Word. Today I want to talk about what happens if your Microsoft Word settings, for example, auto text, are not saving. Okay, so for example, let's say I put in here something that I want to create an auto text for. So let's say I put in Edward and I want to highlight it and I press Alt F3 and I want it so that every time I type Ed, it turns into Edward. Okay, so I click OK. All right, next time I type Ed, I simply press F3 on the keyboard and it turns into Edward. So that's very cool. Okay, um, Ed F3 Edward. Okay, so this document Okay, well, Microsoft Word in general now has this setting. So if I close it, okay, you don't even need to save this file. Okay, you can save it if you want, but let's say you click Don't Save. Next time you go into Microsoft Word again, ignore this. I'll explain what this is in a second. Let's say I go to Microsoft Word again, go to a new file, and I type in Ed, press, um, press Alt. Oh, sorry, press F3, it turns into Edward. Okay, so that's automatically saved. But what happens with some computers is that if you close down Windows and you restart it again, this might disappear. Okay, this, all the auto text that you created might disappear. And there are some possibilities for that. Okay, if you are on some sort of virtual machine, or you are using a computer where the administrator has not allowed you access to edit the template file for Microsoft Word, then it's not going to save. So here is the way to get around it. So here is the file path for where the Word template file is stored. So you're going to copy this link, you're going to open up Windows Explorer, okay, so this is Windows Explorer, open it up, and you're going to paste that link in the address bar, press enter, and this will get you into the folder where Microsoft Word stores the template files for storing all of your quick text settings and all that sort of stuff. Now, normal.m is sitting here. So I'm going to copy this out and I'm going to paste it to wherever you go to um, access your documents. Maybe you put it in documents, maybe you put it in desktop, wherever you want to put it, that's easy to access. So let's say I want to go to my desktop and I'm going to right click, paste. Okay, so I have a normal .m here. Now, just so it doesn't get confused, I'm going to change it to custom settings.m. It doesn't matter what you call it. Now, once you double click on this, next time you create auto text. So let's say I do that again, but let's say I'm going to call it Johnny. Okay, I'm going to highlight it, press Alt F3. This time where it's got save in, I can then choose to save it in custom settings. Okay, and I'm going to call it J-O. So next time I type J-O, it'll turn into Johnny. Click OK. Okay, test it out. J-O F3 turns into Johnny. And then when I close this file, okay, you don't have to save this file again, uh, just don't save. Now it says you have modified styles, building blocks to custom settings.m. Do you want to save changes? Click save. Okay. And now what's going to happen is next time you open up Microsoft Word, if you want to have all your quick text 
uh, settings retrieved, you're going to click on custom settings dot dot M to open up Microsoft Word. And in here, if you go into your quick text settings, insert quick parts, auto text, you'll see that Johnny is saved in there. Okay, so you go J O um, F3, Johnny shows up. All right, so there's my little workaround on how to save uh, auto text when Word is not saving the settings. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.